Next question is from Susan, and she had a problem with the flood filling and wondering what the use all layers is for. So I'm going to open this one here. So the flood fill tool has different match mode. You remember that if you are choosing something other than none, it will select the pixels that match these mode, which is why it's called match mode. So for example, if I have RGB value, I can have tolerance. And if I activate this merge layer, this purple, and I click, I'm going to use a kind of a yellowish. If I click on one of the purple pixels, it will select similar pixels and similar RGB value based on the tolerance. And that's how I'll paint over some areas. That is happening if it's on the actual layer. If I'm, I'm, for example, I'm on this layer here, which has only the flower or the leaves on the right, and I click on the purple, what happens is that the RGB value was based on the empty area. So everything that is empty with a tolerance of 21, I'm not exactly sure how it calculates it, its percentage or what, that will be selected. I could also have, for example, opacity. So again, if I'm on the purple layer and I click here, everything that is the same opacity will be filled. If I click on the outside where the opacity is zero, you can see it fills there. It doesn't fill here because the opacity is probably not the same. It's not zero and it does not match the tolerance. Increasing or reducing the tolerance will make that gap smaller. You can see here the gap is a little smaller. Now, this always <clears throat> only applies to the active layer. So if I want to find some purple in this layer and I click, that I go to RGB, for example, I'm looking for some purple. Well, okay, the toler tolerance is a little bit high. If I look for purple here, it will only be on this layer. It won't take into account the purple from the other layer. But now, if I check the use all layers, then it will take that into account. So if I click, and I can even do that on a separate layer, not even touching, and if I select the purple, oh, I thought it would get another. This is a little too, okay, can have that. Let's increase the tolerance a little bit. If I get a purple, you can see how it also selects the purple from the other layer. So what it means is that if I use all layers, the program will consider everything that is visible. So. If I click on that purple, trying to get that purple again, no, the same purple that will get over there, but maybe I can get here, no. So you can see there's some purple on here, but some purple on here. This is what I get. So it's really based on what you see. So if there was some purple uh, underneath, for example, if I hide this and I click here, you can see there's matching pixels everywhere. But if I unhide this and I go in the same place, it's not going to 
select the purple that was under because it's just not visible. So use all layer is that's what it does. It's based on what you actually see while combining all the visible layers. So in that case, uh, same thing if I go with the opacity. Let's say that this, uh, I'll just move it a little bit over. We can see even better. So if I am to fill based on the opacity, I can go very low. And I go in the empty area. This did not have the use all layers, so it was just based on the active layer. Now I will use all layer, and you can see how it selects everything outside. I'll just hide this one and I'll just change the color. And let's say that now I hide this one. And I click again with the same settings here. So you can see how in one case I have around that purple layer. This one was around all the layers. So that's when you can use this. It will always depend on the kind of project you are working on to determine if you want to have that match. Very, that me, I would say most often I tend to use the none so I have more control and, and I don't rely on the colors that are there. But occasionally, especially if you want to change color, you might want to use that. Hey there, I hope you found this information helpful. If you're curious to dive deeper and explore more about PaintShop Pro, we've got a wealth of resources waiting for you in our membership area. There, you'll find in-depth classes, workshops, Q&A sessions, and much more to help you enhance your PaintShop Pro and digital scrapbooking skills. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the campus.